A lot has changed for both candidates since campaigning in the March primary when the nation was not facing pandemic restrictions. Sarah Jacobs says it's not so easy without a lot of face-to-face -face contact. We're phone banking, uh, getting creative, doing Zoom events, and just trying to find ways to connect with people virtually. George Ed Gomez says her campaign has also been leveraging technology to reach voters. Texting, uh, communicating with voters through social media, um, and utilizing the power of social media. The two Democrats are vying to replace another Democrat, Representative Susan Davis, who is retiring from her 53rd seat after 20 years. I consider myself a, a practical progressive, um, and I know that the only way we're ever able to get anything done, but especially in Washington, is by building coalitions. Jacobs worked in the State Department during the Obama administration. I uh, think that a lot of voters uh, really value the fact that I have experience working in the federal government, working on federal policy issues, that I have experience on both the domestic and international issues that will be coming in front of Congress. Gomez says voters need someone who understands them at a personal level and says because she grew up poor, she can relate to people going through tough times. I lived, personally lived housing insecurity at one time in my life, uh, growing up pretty uh, humbly with very little resources, having parents that had multiple jobs, but they still, at the end of the day, we were living paycheck by paycheck. Gomez considers herself a progressive, but says her time on city council proves that she can work with Republicans, like San Diego Mayor landlords. Kevin Faulkner. So we introduced a eviction moratorium protecting renters in our businesses. We created, along with the mayor, we created a business relief program. Both candidates say COVID-19 relief for businesses and individuals will likely be a major priority for the next Congress. They say the CARES Act, which brought stimulus checks and money for struggling businesses, was a good start. It's clear we need a lot more, and I have been really disappointed that Congress hasn't passed another assistance package. I am truly am hoping that they move forward, that they can put their the, the 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 division to the side because this is not the time to be playing politics. This is the time where we need to lead. It's no secret there's a lack of affordable housing in San Diego, and our county has one of the highest homeless populations in the nation. To address the housing crisis, Jacob wants to provide emergency assistance in the form of housing vouchers and rental aid, increase our federal homeless dollars, and add a rental tax credit. So that any family who pays more than 30% of their income on rent gets assistance through the tax code then we need to build more affordable housing. Decisions about how and where to build that affordable housing are largely in the hands of local governments, some of which have been resistant to new units. What we can do at the federal level is leverage public dollars to incentivize and push for more private investment. Whether it's building low-income units or housing for people who are homeless, Gomez says it starts with hearing from the community. You need to make sure that you're out there talking to your constituents and saying this is why it's important that we make our backyard available in order. I mean, people want us to resolve the uh, the issue related to people living in the streets, but the only way we're going to uh, resolve it is not through rock and science. It's we need to build units. We need to ensure that we have the necessary resources, and that's where Congress needs to come in. Uh, to ensure that we have the support. Addressing climate change is also something on both candidates' agendas. Gomez says she supports Governor Gavin Newsom's recent executive order for all new cars in California to be zero emissions by 2035. That's something that we should be, as a congressional members, we should be thinking about adopting as well. It should be a national model. Jacob says Newsom's mandate has to be doable, and she wants to see an entirely energy clean economy by 2030. I think we need huge investments in new green technology. A poll from last month shows Jacobs with a double-digit lead over Gomez, but in that same poll, nearly 40% of voters who responded were still undecided. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.